Hi YouTube, this is 50 Plus coming to you with a video and in this video I kind of wanted to just go ahead and um, do my face and eyes. Right now um, all I have on is is a uh, primer and the primer that I have on right now is the um, the Black Radiance and I prime my face with this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use that sound in the background of the fan. Um, I'm going to be go ahead and use the Fit Me foundation, and I'm going to use the 360 and the 355. I'm going to use majority of the 355, and I just have a little. I'm going to put it on this. I usually keep this cleaned off so that I can um, put the foundation on the back of it instead of the back of my hand. So how is everyone? Um, I'm a little nervous about filming right now because it looks like the camera is doing something really weird. And I don't know if that has to do with my lighting or what. I'm not sure. But I'm going to go ahead. And like I said, I'm going to be using the Fit Me 355. And um, guys, don't forget when you have this liquid foundation, don't forget to shake it up. Um, sometimes when I'm in a hurry... I grab these things and I forget to shake it up really good and then um, you know that definitely I, I feel affects the application so I got like uh, ooh, two parts one and one part the other and I'm gonna be using this dirty <laughs> and this is a stippling brush to mix it up and also to apply and basically, this is where I mixed it. And it's all in there. So whatever's on this brush will be um, um, will be what's on my um, face. So get a little close for you. And I just like to go ahead and just kind of stipple it all over my face and down my neck. And um, for you, if you're viewing for the first time, you might want to check out my channel where I have a giveaway going on. And it's just mainly just an incentive to thank the people for following me. Um, or if you're following me and didn't realize I had a giveaway going on. I don't know if I have the mirror all in your way through that whole process. But here we go. So... And then I'd use the same, and I just kind of buff it in with this. So I just like kind of go on circular motions, and you know, um, you gotta watch how you apply this because sometimes you get streaks. So you kind of want to, you know, keep blending it in until you don't see any of those streaks. And I usually um, put a, a a base and a primer on my eyelids, and. Um, that's so that um, I won't have any creasing going on with uh, with the eyeshadow that I use. I'm going to be using a a MAC blush as an eyeshadow. And my hair is covering most of my ears, but I usually take the um, makeup foundation back up into my hairlines when I'm all done getting it distributed on my face and back onto my earlobes and, of course, down my neck. Now... You have to go ahead and put some powder on and kind of blot yourself just so that you don't have that transferring onto your clothes. All right. So now that I have the foundation on, um, I'm going to go ahead and use, uh, I've been trying to use the Professional by Benefit. I had it out last week and was trying to use it. I don't know why I don't gravitate towards this. It's the cutest packaging. You have your brush down here, which I'm not going to use that brush. I use it. I used it while I was out on the run last week. And then you have the three openings. So I'm just going to go ahead and shake some in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and put it on a, um, a powder brush of my choice. I'm just going to go ahead and use this. And what I do with the powder is I kind of pat it 
and I start out patting majority of it in those places where I know that um, I have a tendency to shine and it's really just in the middle of my face so that would be like right above my eyebrows cross my eyebrows, cross my nose, cross my upper lip and down my chin and then you know I kinda lightly uh, wisp it away blend it in sort of so I'm kinda like if it was a lot right here I'm mostly wisping it away as I kinda blend it into my um, foundation to set it so just getting all of it out of the top alright so that is the foundation and the powder so then I'm usually working on my eyebrows and um, once again I had all of this stuff in my purse and I don't have my eyebrow so I'm gonna go ahead and then just take a a small spoolie because normally I'll have um, I have a little jar with these little teeny things in it and I'm just brush it up with this um now what I was going to use was going to be that um that eyebrow powder that had it's just one color but it covers grays I use that to bring down my hairline too sometimes all right so just going to use like a disposable spoolie and that will be for my um eyebrow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little base and this would be the uh, NYX and this is eyeshadow base and I'm going to put some of this on my eyelid um, normally I would use some sort of eye primer but because I've already put the foundation over hopefully that will act as a primer and I just kind of pat it on and it's a nude color as you can see And I don't press really hard because, you know, I had corneal transplant, but I kind of get that um, base in so that um, it can kind of help bring out the color of whatever eyeshadow that I'm putting on. Although, I'm going to be putting on, um, I don't know what color it is, but it's by MAC, and it's a blush actually, and it's nearly gone, and basically I have the rim. And when I was looking it up online, I couldn't even find this color anymore. So I bought this um, at the MAC store in um, the Beverly Center um, probably a few years back. And I had bought some black track fluid with it. And um, I think I had bought the, the lip gloss in that little pot. I forget what, the, what it's called. So it's been a while. So um, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, get a brush an eyeshadow brush and I'm going to pat this in my lid basically um, this is an elf eyeshadow brush and I'm when I say my lid I just mean this part this will be the crease and this will be the brow bone so I'm going to pack a lot because I'm going to be adding black to this and where I got this idea from is just looking at how um got some fallout going on looking at how Oprah Winfrey's um, makeup artist um does the um, black on her and I mean may, it seems like her whole eyelid is black um I'm not that brave yet to just go all black because I halfway don't know what I'm doing as it is but I'm 50 something and I'm not going to cheat myself out of the joy of makeup because I'm 50 something and don't know my way all the way around makeup so I'm not going to do that so um, I don't know whether I'm not going to use this brush this would be a fluffy crease brush you know what I'm going to do I'm going to bring the eyeshadow all the way up to past my crease that's what I'm gonna do so basically I'm gonna fill in my whole um, eye pretty much just above the um, 
uh, well, up to the brow bone. So I'm going to fill it all in. I'm going to be using um, an e.l.f. I, um, an e.l.f. highlighter called Gotta Glow. And if you want a, a version, a dupe for this, a dupe for an expensive um, albatross by NARS, this would be the dupe for it. And this is called Gotta Glow by e.l.f. Whereas this is um, $3, I believe, and I'm not sure what the other one costs. So I have this um, nice and blended in. And I, since it's the blending brush, of course, it's kind of blended out the edges for me already. So what I'm going to do is take this little compact that I have by Sheer Cover, and it has some um, little uh, parts, lip gloss, eyeshadow base, and stuff like that. And I'm going to go ahead and just dig my fingers in it, and I'm going to apply this on my lid. See that? Just on my lid, not in the crease, not anywhere else. And this is cream based. This this is, whereas the, you know the other um, shadow is powder. So I'm trying to um, use my fingers to stay more in control of where I put this, because um, it can very easily go where I don't intend it to go, and I just have my makeup cleaning rag right here. Do have a wipe here also to clean up my fingers so I don't just transfer stuff all over my clothes and my um I believe I probably should take some black eyeshadow and go over this. Or some darker eyeshadow I should say. And I do have um little eyeshadows from um e.l.f. and um the name of this one is called Mystic Moss. This is not black. That's green. Good thing I put the glasses on, although it probably would have looked good also. Excuse me. All right. I don't like to turn to these because they got that, um, it's called charcoal. I don't really like turning to these because I hate that they're a bit glittery. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the same brush that I had um, put on the um, put on the um, blush on my eyes for that I use for eyeshadow, and I'm going to go ahead and just place that powder on the corner. I put enough on both sides, and I'm just turning the brush and using one side on each eye, and that way I have majority of it off of the brush, and then that way I can go ahead and kind of do that crease and you do the windshield wiper mo motion in here and you stick it under that right here under that bone and you have to leave your eyes open when you're doing this you don't close your eyes when you're doing that because you kinda needs to see where you're at right there so I don't know if you can see that so I'm gonna go ahead and um, lay this brush down again on both sides, one side for this eye and the other for that one. And just to darken up this one third of the outer corner of the eye. And I guess you can call this a smoky eye. Or you can just call it like an evening look or a dressier look. It's kind of amped up hot more than you would normally. Um, well, I. I would wear this to work depending on you know what I have on so I went ahead and that's what that looks like so now I'm going to get a eyeliner and I'm just going to use the brow pencil and this is a, um, a LA color one it's just sitting here in this jar I have plenty of nice um, eyeliners and this one's already sharpened and this is what I'm going to take to line my eye. And I'm going to be lining my eye lining my eyelid plus my water. Although I'm only going to be going well. Yeah. 
Oop. I'm too slow. I should be faster at this. Okay. So basically, I wasn't quite as organized as I should be. So I'm past the time I would like to spend on doing a uh, any sort of demonstration. So this is Benefits Their Real Mascara. And I usually just mainly coat the top lid, top lashes and the ends of them. I don't really go down to the base of my eyelashes. Every now and then I do. But and then what I was gonna do for my lips, I was just gonna line them with a um, a brown mix lip liner. And I moisturize my lips with um with an EOS lip balm. I'm going to be using that Gotta Glow under my brow and in the corners of my um in the corners of my eyes to bring that light there. So I line my lips with this brown and I'm just going to put on a simple lip gloss by NYX and it's nice and thick and creamy. It's kind of my go-to. It stays on. It doesn't turn white around my lip area, which I'm thankful for. So let me go ahead and show you how I would use this. I would get a kind of a stiff brush to go into that corner and I just put it on there and usually I'll get some on both half of the brush and that represents half for one eye and half for the other so Dab that up there. Now you could take your time and be more precise and all that, but because I don't want this video to go on. So there's going to be one more thing that I'm going to do. I'm going to do a little bit of contouring, and it's with the uh, the Sleek palette, and I got it in dark. And I use this little dense. Um, I don't know what it is, what type of brush it is. It's a um, BH Cosmetic brush, but I like to use it because it's small enough to just kind of go where I need it to go. I'm going to go ahead and go down here and just to cut off some of that fat jaw that's going on. All right, taking this fluffy brush and just barely get some of this gold up just to go across the top right here. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and use some NYX setting spray. I'm using this more because I'm having a hot flash than anything else. All right. And besides my hair sticking all up, let me know what you think. All right. Thank you for viewing. And if you like this video, please thumbs up and subscribe if you have not. Take care.